Yeah. Right, we go. Okay, we're done. We're good. We listen to tape right now. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Good night. Good luck. Oh, that's good. Hello, guys. Back in the hot seat. It's been a hot minute. It's been a while. Maybe what? almost a year. Almost a year. We're back. Oh, I'm taking my sunnies off. Because we're about to get deep. That's what she said. Sorry. Right, get out. So, <laughs> So two and a half years ago, before we started the Inspired Employed, we went travelling over to Europe in hopes to start a business because we were pretty lost. We were doing jobs we didn't like. We were both tradies, and we had all these weird, wacky ideas to like start like acai bowl food trucks and like cafes and like we had no, we haven't I've never been even in a kitchen before. <laughs> I was oh. trying to start a cafe. We we're trying to open this superfood place up in Byron Bay, like emailing the council and shit, trying to get shipping containers. I've worked in hospital a couple of times, but we don't know what the. F we're doing at all. She's like, yeah, sweet. I'll, I'll do the coffees and like you, you do like the, the back of the house, like the kitchen and stuff. And, he, and he, you were learning how to make nitro coffee or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, this is going to take off. butter in it or something. Yeah. yeah. So pretty much, we'll, we'll we were super ambitious to start a company before the Inspired Unemployed happened. So when we like had all these ideas, we started just making videos on the side, just thinking, yeah, it could start something. But we never thought it turned into this. So now that it's kind of blown up to what it has, it's just been insane. Never thought it was going to happen. But one of the hardest things to deal with is like navigating, not selling out or like just brand deals and like, because we love doing some brand deals, but then yeah. you don't want to annoy people and this and that. And we kind of just wanted to make a yeah. product that we were super proud of that was our own. And I think we found her. Here she is. A newborn. First born. That was some good sex we had, eh? To <laughs> this out. All right, so how it all started was the end of last year, we were getting a fair few offers. Try and boast your own tree. Is that the is that no. the term? Yeah. Toot your own horn. Toot, Toot your own, own horn. horn. A lot of offers from all these different big beer companies asking us to come on as ambassadors or to start our own line of beer underneath their label. Pretty and much we, to make them money through us. So we're thinking that'd be fun, but how fun would it be to start our own? Something that we're actually proud of and we love the look of and we just can create this community and brand. And then we're like, well, why don't we just do it? But we knew it was gonna be a lot of work. Yeah. That's the thing that scared us. We knew we thought we thought that's amazing. Falcon has actually hit me up more and he's like we got to start a beer and i'm like dude we've got so much shit going on i don't i would love to like we just i don't know if we can actually do it right now but um, we so, changed our mind pretty quick yeah fuck it let's do it ourselves so we caught up our mate nicholas how's it going nick hey i'm just uh watching their thing oh sweet as um fuck can falcon hold a beer with the can brand facing out it's like a contentious issue my name's Nick Cogger. I'm from Torquay, down on the Great Ocean Road. Yeah, so I uh, finished high school. My dad had a brew-on-premise brewery. Decided that I'd get a commercial license for the brewery and launch uh, my first beer brand. And I sort of haven't looked back since then. I've been in the beer industry ever since, uh, which is almost 18 years now. So we actually met Nick back in 2019 when he gave us one of our first ever gigs. We hit it off pretty much straight away. He became a very good mate of ours, a bit of a mentor. He was the first person we called on advice for how to do it ourselves. My advice was obviously go for it. And I gave him a list of maybe 100 things that they need to do to start. Um, and I could sort of hear the silence in the room. A couple of hours after that phone call, they called me back and said, hey, we need help. We want to do it. Can you do it with us? So we wanted a healthier alternative to beer. The reason all this happened was we got sent a box of seltzers from a company last summer. And seltzers were like the big craze, you know, everyone was drinking seltzers. The thing. And we're like, what's the big fuss about? We got drunk on them and in the morning, instead of waking up feeling really fucking shit, we actually felt not too bad. But we didn't like seltzers. Seltzers weren't for us. We wanted a beer, but we wanted the statistics of a seltzer in a beer, but but better. So like they're like zero carb, zero sugar, low calories. That's 87 calories. So we knew what we wanted, and it was time to get our hands dirty and go out and try and make it happen, which actually turned out to be a lot harder than what we thought. To get a zero carb, zero sugar beer that actually tastes like a good beer yeah. is actually, uh, it's, well, it's taken a year to get to. So we partnered with a team out in Griffith, about to stop. Uh, here we are in Griffith. Um, Griffith. Griffith. How do you say it? Griffith? Griffith. This Indeed. is like going to be like the best day we've had working, I think, ever. <laughs> just go in, just taste beers. What well, is it work? Well, yeah. it is. Yes, it, it is. is work. Yeah. It's definitely work. Yeah, it's work. First day on the tools. Go check up on Falcon, make sure everything's running smooth. Falcon, how's the car looking? Yeah, mate, just doing a bit of an oil change here. He's good. Learning how to pour a beer. No, this is not how to pour a beer. We're onto our fourth batch of, of uh, beer at the moment. I don't know, they were just doing it, so I'm copying them. 
<laughs> After about six months of back and forth with the taste, like just being fucking way too critical probably. This could be the moment, we're in hotel quarantine. Where we see the packaging, taste the fucking things. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. Dude, Dude shut up. Nervous. Oh my God. <laughs> It's cold! Oh, it's cold. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Oh no, Dos. Oh, oh my god, god. is that a crack? Honestly, fucking God's nectar. Fuck, I'm that excited, you don't understand. Oh man. You don't understand. Today's a good day. He's good. Dude, old Greggy, man, he fucking knows how to produce a beer. It's fucked up. You gotta remember as well, like, the zero cars. I can't believe you've got, it's got so much taste for having no yeah. sugar and no carbs. It smells good. I reckon it smells the best. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty fucking good. Finally got there and then realized, oh shit, now we've got to sell it and get distribution. And this was kind of like the time where, you know, we thought we, it was really good, but it was actually time to get reality if people actually liked it. Nick lined us up a meeting with Dan Murphy's and BWS. Which was fucking intensely scary so this is like we're gonna find out if it was good or not yeah because they're, they're like the king of beers and they and only put two beers on the shelf every six months yeah. i think that's right but i'm, I'm pretty certain that's <laughs> something right like that, yeah. something <laughs> like that which is fucking not many it's a pit we make you normally like we're having meetings with people and it's like you don't have to worry it's just like talk shit whatever they want to pitch to you but we had to fully pitch these guys get pitched every day mm. and we were like okay we need to come in here with something special <laughs> i'm all in on this i reckon this is going to be huge and i don't reckon it you don't get a brand uh come along too often that really tackles and can take on the mainstream beer category right many many come and many fail but well to be honest not many even try anymore because they just see going up against those huge established legacy brands like your your VB and your Carlton Draft as being almost turf. I'll just stay away from their turf. I reckon this is the bit most compelling launch to quite seriously take it up to these guys that I think I've seen in the last decade. Certainly yeah. since Great Northern. And that was a decade ago. You've got to remember, on our own, none of us could do it. But when we actually throw all these parts together, it's kind of the perfect scenario. So that's why I genuinely think that this is a beer brand, I reckon, that will be enduring and be around for a bloody long time because I think it's the first real fair income can crack at those big guys, I reckon. I just got shivers, eh? Yeah, that was so <laughs> that, That's a good <laughs> time speech, eh? I was like, I remember the Titan speech. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. But it's so true. <laughs> What I was in Troy then, eh? Yeah. Just fucking well done! But, but in all seriousness, like what Cam's saying is completely true. So we had the meeting, nervous as, freaking out, going, this could, is this going to flop? Do they hate it? Whatever. Are they going to like it? They took a liking to it, and they've put us in every country in the... Every like, country. Every, every country. <laughs> every, <I wish. laughs> yeah. Every store in the country, which is... Yeah, so we're nervous. So that's when it really, we really know if it works or not, when everyone else tastes yeah. it. So we're pretty excited, but we're also nervous. No carbs, no sugar. Cooey! <laughs> we cannot express enough how much we want this just to be a community. The, the, from the very start of starting it, even in spite of employee, like beer company, whatever, we just want it to be a community, we want everyone to be involved. The whole brand of Better Beer is about having fun and a bit tongue in cheek and just all coming together yeah. to drink a fine nectar drop. Honestly, in like Two and a half years ago, we would never in our like wildest dreams imagine to be here with no. this fine little succulent. I don't know, just to drink it is just like the weirdest thing in the weird. world and we just can't thank you guys enough for and getting it, behind us. And, and if it flops, you can come back and laugh at us. If it flops, we'll drown our sorrows. <laughs> so, <laughs> so thank you. Thank Get you. into better beer. Let's fucking have a good and summer. Let us know. Go buy some and be honest. Write in the comments what you think. Love you all. Look after yourself. <laughs> It's going down. Eight o'clock in the morning, eh? I'm actually a little bit nervous to see what they think. Oh! Yeah! Oh! 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 Ever. Look at this thing. Holy crap. Oh my god, it's heavy.
Kennedy. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Final shoot of the two days. Shoot. All our friends have come up, about 35 degrees, drinking these bad boys. Everyone's in a 70s vibe. Yeah, we wish us luck. Better. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> better be a that's fucking great beer. That is a wrap, my people. Huh? Now it's time to go fucking sink a couple. Proper and true. What do you reckon? <laughs> What do you reckon? Mate, it's like an angel crying on my tongue. <laughs> <laughs>